Okay, if you were into unboxing videos, this is not one of them. I just want to know if I could buy a cheap drone. I have the Dromana Vista and use it to fly my GoPro. Um, it's a GoPro session, so it's a little, as light as they make them, but it's still pretty heavy. Um, if I usually test and do stuff, I have an analog, I have a pill bottle filled with pennies. I use as an analog test, but in case I break this drone in one shot, I'd rather get some aerial footage. So I'll just flip it. All right, so that's one thing you notice unless you have 500 bucks to spend on a Phantom, that these small drones have really, really teeny tiny cameras. And there's an effect called jelloing. This is what jelloing looks like. It's terrible. Nobody wants it, likes it. And these cameras, if they come with a, the drones, they can't be all that great. The GoPro is a couple hundred bucks. It's got built-in video stabilization, but again, it's heavy. I have been spending tons of time trying to get this camera lost with kites, but you can't really predict wind and all that, so I've always wanted a drone, so I have the biggest one I can afford to see if it'll just lift it. So let's just burn through this setup and get this thing out of the box and then get it all charged up. And feel free to fast forward. I'm not a big unboxer. The camera, I don't care about the camera. So I slide. And this is the Dramada, interesting spelling, Vista. It's about a hundred bucks. Um, it's a couple of years old, 2017, 2017 came out. It's a pretty nice looking unit, feels really sturdy. Um, I already pre-charged the battery it came with, so I think it'd be pretty close to ready to go. On the bottom, there's a little tray that lets you slide this camera on. We are going to totally ignore that part. Right here, it snaps on. And we're going to see if we can just maybe rubber band the GoPro on there. It has some kind of rudimentary shock absorbing dealios, but we'll see. We'll just try rubber band. Um, I live in Maine, so lobster rubber band we'll try and use. So, first things first, we will take our GoPro out ready to go and we will pop the new battery in so this is the first time I've flown a drone ever so no fun of making and this is the unit it's pretty cool it comes with extra blades and a screwdriver a lot of you can't afford a screwdriver but and then there's the batteries. So let's get going. That's pretty nice. It comes with its own USB adapter for the batteries. I uh, actually went and bought another battery, a uh, spare uh, from Drona. There might be cheaper, better ones on Amazon, but this one happens to be nine bucks. So I got that also. And this is a USB adapter that charges with. So I don't know what the red connector type is, but. I'm sure these batteries are the best. These are... Ugh. Lobster rubber band. GoPro. Where's the front? Ooh, this is awfully heavy. Phew! This might be one of those don't try this at home kids type things. Yikes. Don't tell the hobby shop guy. Okay, so it's kind of pointed down now, I think. So maybe we can try it. Yeah. Super windy outside. Let's see if it works. Whoa. It's kind of self-dampening, all right, but we'll see.
behind us? It's too windy to test it, but I think it's gonna work. So 